this is home for the night. Smoky Bear Campground. Off 321 in Gatlinburg. I'm sure they're going to have some bears around, don't you? Oh, yeah. Since it's called Smoky Bear Campground. Here's the office. Big T, we're here home for the night. Could you everybody home? Okay, we are in um, campsite number 20. Hey everybody, welcome to Smoky Bear Campground. Yeah, we're right here off 321 in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And we're going to take you and show you around, um, all around the campground. Uh, I guess we're going to have a campfire tonight. Yes, and dinner here. And Make some what, hot dogs and some of your chili. Yes. Then maybe some s'mores. Yes. And we've got a friend that's going to be joining us for a little uh, fireside chat. Yes. So come on with us. Yeah. Well, I like the entranceway here. It's nice and wide, isn't it? It is. It's pretty here. It's wooded. Yeah. Yeah, one of the things we noticed right off is how shady uh, mm -hmm. most, if not all, the spots are. Yes. See all those woods over that direction? It's a real wooded, shady area. Yep. It says, we can't bear to see y'all go. <laughs> So down this way, these are all back in sites, and right in front of us is the office. Mm -hmm. And then there's pull-throughs kind of going all the way down this direction. Yeah, you can see pull-throughs are, are nice, all the way down through there. Mm -hmm. And then there's another cabin. It's like a pretty good-sized cabin over there. It's long, isn't it? Yeah. And then there's a bear sitting on the bench. Mm -hmm. Then here is a pool, not quite, quite open yet. A couple bears greeting you there. Another one up there. Mm -hmm. Nice little playground. Mm -hmm. And basketball court. And you can see there are. Uh, Spots all along down through there or back in and another cabin on down there. These are the restrooms and bathhouses right here. Yeah, the ladies is on this side, showers, and on the other side is the men's. And then there's a little footpath that takes you down to kind of where we're set up. There's a community fire pit right over here. But look at all these trees mm -hmm. and shade. I love that. There's a couple more of the cabins. You can see here. That's down through here, just kind of back right up against the woods. Mm -hmm. And here we are in site number 20. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this is gravel. A picnic table firing. Hey boy. You drink a water he's, now. He's over there just drinking water. Okay, so here is the campground layout. You can see we are in 20. They do have uh, several cabins. You got Papa Bear, Honey Bear, Mama Bear, Teddy Bear, and Dancing Bear. <laughs> Yeah, 321 is right here. There's baby bear. Oh, there's baby bear right Left here. Left out baby bear. You got mama bear and papa bear. Yeah. A uh, pool, playground, men's and ladies' restroom and showers, and laundry. You can see the office. And um, I would say these sites right here are probably going to be the noisiest, especially on a busy weekend because of 321 and the traffic. But this place has got a lot of... Um, shade in it 
So it's going to block a lot of the noise, but there's the information. Hey guys, this is new. We just got it put on the van. A YouTube emblem and Friday's Forever on the back window. So if you see us on the road or somewhere out, make sure and honk. I like to say this is a pretty peaceful campsite here. This big T thinks it is. Don't you, buddy? Huh? Think it's peaceful? Did you know we have a friend coming to join us for dinner? Yes, we do. And the campfire? Yes, we do. Our friend Valerie from Ohio. She should be here soon. Yeah, she should be here soon, she said. Got to um Pico chairs set up and I uh, already had some firewood. And because we're having a friend join us, I brought out this. This is called the click chair, I believe. C L I Q. Sets up real easy. I mean it's not as comfortable as those for sure. You can see the sun going back down in the smokies over there. There you are. We'll say this, the um, sewage is way back at the back of the site which is no big deal for us you know when we dump all we have to do is just back right on up here it's no problem at all but for um some folks if you're going to be staying for a while and you don't want to move up and down you might may have to have a couple longer hoses i don't know it's gonna be a fun evening here in the smoky mountains at the smoky bear campground what are we going to eat, Karen? We're going to um, cook our hot dogs over the campfire. And I brought my homemade chili. So we're going to have hot dogs and chili and chips. Woo! And s'mores for dessert. S'mores. <laughs> awesome. Uh-huh. Here's our friend. Valerie made it. Come say hi, Valerie. Hi, I'm here. How many hot dogs does everybody want? Do you want me to put some on this other one and help you? You might as well. <laughs> this is me on my horn. Oh. Don't hear the mama. So let's just be real quiet yeah. and keep right on going. That's when they were on the horse. Oh. And they have one hour and an hour and a half rides. <laughs> oh, I like them glass. How do you check? You know. Mine probably cooked better than yours, if you want to know the truth. Oh. Hey, Karen cooked two and I cooked two, and um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, seriously. Give it a shot. See what you think. Oh, it's, I've already taken one bite. It's super good. It's Karen's homemade chili. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Winner's cooked to perfection, the one I, <laughs> the one I put over the fire. Well, the buns are really soft and fresh. Okay, Valerie, see what you think. All right. See, that chili ain't good right there. Big T's eat. He's already eat his so. dinner all there. Yeah. It's I so gave him a piece of bun or something. What do you think? Perfect chili. And my hot dog. And gee, I think you <laughs> cooked that one for me. Here. I think we're gaining it's, enough on my. Mm -hmm, yeah, or something. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Bite number two. You can see there. Is this the dog you cooked? <laughs> right. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really know. <laughs> good stuff, right? It's real good. I just love your chili. It's got that little bit of sweetness. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, okay, what are we having? We're going to have s'mores. So I've got some, I got us some chocolate bars open. Here's our marshmallows. Here's our graham crackers. And, we're going and our to, marshmallow forks. And our, yeah, and we're going to get this messy. <laughs> and my job was to get the fire going and we're ready. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, it's not, okay. it's not, no, it's not a Cinnabon for sure. <laughs> no, definitely not. Do you burn yours up? Well? Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll let you do these. I do burn them. Now, a little trick though, you can hold this and take this and you can twist your marshmallows around like that. Oh, See that? Oh. You never told me. <laughs> uh oh, we're on fire. Good for you. Wow. Wow. Oh. Boy, you scorch those babies. That's going to be good right there. Yeah, it is. Burn, baby, burn. To the fire burn, pit baby. for a minute. Mm. Good. Look mm -hmm. how slowly mine's burning. 
That's pretty cool. Are you Yours, like, like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fascinating to look at. I'm not making a s'more, by the way. You're not? No. Oh. I'm going to pass. Can you taste the yet? No. That's All right, dig so in, ladies. Too, many marsh too much marshmallow ratio. Mm -hmm. You're going to taste the mine. I told him I said it's almost like a glorified moon pie. You know what yeah. I like? I like peanut butter and graham crackers. I love that together. Do you know what my grandkids like? They get Reese's peanut butter cups and make s'mores instead of the Hershey oh. bar. They use Reese's peanut butter cup on it. Oh, that's a, that'd that, be good. Yeah, hmm. it's really awesome. You would love that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My marshmallow's not hot enough to melt the chocolate. I know, butter. mine wasn't either. We could put them in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> cheat, cheat. Back in the old days, they must have made, they must have made Hershey bars wimpier or something uh -huh. because they used, to, they used thick. to melt. They're too thick now. Yeah. It is good. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little treat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did y'all enjoy the dinner and the s'mores? Yes, it was we did. delicious. Well, it's a fireside chat time, yes. Karen. And we already know what we're going to talk about, right? Well, a little bit, but I thought we would... Um, <laughs> what? <after. laughs> Can you think of what you're going to say? Yes. <laughs> Things in the 70s. We grew up in the 70s. Yes. And um, we did some crazy things. We did a lot of things that kids just don't do today. Mm -hmm. But we talk about that for a little bit, and yeah. then maybe if uh, Valerie wants to... She could share a little bit of her testimony, how she came to know Christ. Yeah. You know? So, back in the 70s, it was a decade, I guess, of muscle cars. And yeah. what else? Mm -hmm. Bell bottoms? Yes, yes bell, bell bottoms. bottoms. Which are back in style. That shows you how good they were. <laughs> right. <laughs> tube socks. Remember that? When yeah, tube socks. Yeah. Come up to here. Mm -hmm. and, you know. and had straps on them sometimes right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. But I went and searched, researched a, a few things. <laughs> um, do you remember, if you grew up in the 70s, you'll probably remember these things. If your kids are sitting with you and they didn't grow up in the 70s, they'll probably get a kick out of something. Or maybe they've <laughs> heard about it. Yeah, maybe they've heard about it, yeah. <laughs> um, but every year, kids would look through the Christmas catalogs yes. to see what they wanted from the, Chris, from the cow, a Sears and Roebuck cow. Yes, but now, Robot. if you remember, our our kids did that when they were younger. There was still some, a few Christmas catalogs that were still coming when our kids were younger. Yeah. But in the 70s, that was the thing. You didn't, we didn't have computers <laughs> or <laughs> online or cell phones, so you didn't get online to pick out your Christmas presents. You had to wait for a catalog in the mail, and you had to turn pages and fold it down or circle yeah, it. Turn the corner, mm -hmm. circle it, and, and maybe say, you get one of those things. Just <laughs> maybe. You know? What about this? We would take spare lumber laying around the house and build a tree house. Yes. You don't hear that. I mean, no, we didn't order something that. off of Amazon. <laughs> right. <laughs> or, or Walmart. Uh -huh. you know, we, we had to build it. We had to get pretty, pretty creative. Yeah. Um, we worked with our hands a lot, didn't we? Mm -hmm. This next one's funny because we were kind of talking about it at dinner, but long trips in the car or vacations. Yes. You know, we didn't have ice juice boxes. And yeah. Uh, you know, or iPads <laughs> while we're going down the road, right? Yeah. You just found ways to entertain yourself, uh -huh. didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Um, just so dad didn't have to stop the car you could you know yeah. if dad stopped the car you were in trouble but I, man yeah. i remember me and my brother would be in the back of the old um, station wagon you know the seats that faced each other no no seat belts <laughs> right? Right. right we didn't wear seat belts me and my sisters we didn't even have them no <laughs> you'd crawl up the in the same. back windshield and just lay up there going down the or road or you'd lay down you'd say Y'all scoot over to come. I'm lay down in the seat. Y'all sit in the floor. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Well, my mama would put um, a 
crib mattress in the back seat, and my sister and I would um, would just play, you know, miles and miles and miles on vacation <laughs> on this crib mattress in the back seat. And it was a nice flat surface for playing games. Yeah. Okay, so growing, going to the grocery store was kind of an experience for yes. us. You know, we would ride at the end of the cart and just kind of hang on. Yes. <laughs> well, there wasn't those seats where you put your legs yeah. through and stuff. You just... And the cereal aisle was full of color. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the boxes all had toys inside of them. Right. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, that's right. You remember that? Yes. yes. Don't see that anymore. And, yeah. and you and your siblings could fight over who who poured the cereal out in the bowl at the time that the toy came out or if you caught somebody digging through it they got in trouble <laughs> right <laughs> and i think i remember when there was only one kind of milk i mean yeah you couldn't get skim milk i don't i don't remember much ever. less so, almond milk i have to no, drink almond all milk. these different kinds of <laughs> milk it's just vitamin d milk yeah. it's just yeah. milk yeah weekends or saturday mornings Cartoons. Yes, cartoons. Oh, yes. Yeah, we had Always. our favorite cartoons. Yeah, Casper, the ghost. And, yes, Roadrunner. Yeah. And our favorite sugary cereal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Birthday parties in the 70s. I don't remember face painting or um, <laughs> celery being passed around. Do you? <laughs> or bounce houses. <laughs> Yeah, bounce houses. Not, nope. not these elaborate yard signs. And nope. I mean, we had hot dogs, chips, and cake, kind of like what we had tonight. Yeah. And you just played. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? It wasn't as fancy, like, oh, we're going to bring in a uh, magician and a clown. Right. <laughs> we played uh, pin the tail on the donkey mm -hmm. with a sharp pin after being spun around and we were dizzy. <laughs> right. And nobody died. Nobody died. Mm -hmm. Lawn darts. Do y'all remember lawn yes, darts? Yes, mm -hmm. I remember lawn darts. I mean, that'd be a weapon today's yeah. time. Yeah. Play with those. And you remember when you would get injured at school or at home, they just got out a bottle of mercurial. Right. Yes, that's right. true. Orange stuff and yep. put it on everything. Yeah. So. That's true, they did. Well, I can kind of put Valerie on the spot there, but. Um, your faith, I mean, how important is your faith to you, Valley, now that you're 25 years old? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell our folks. <laughs> yeah, we don't, know really where that, cute. we don't know where that 60s thing even came from. <laughs> right. <clears throat> yeah, now that I'm, well, next year I will be 70. So mm. that's awkward to say, but it's true. Um, and I tell the truth. So, um <laughs> Well, I had a rough childhood, and my dad was a minister, and he did some things that were extremely inappropriate. So it was really hard for me to believe that God was there, and that that He really looked out for me. Um, and so it was a struggle. I, I went to Sunday school. I was a good little girl, and did all that. And but I really didn't think there was really a God um, and if there was he sure didn't like me and so through the years w when I had children you know I, I did believe that there is a God um, I just didn't know I didn't know Jesus I guess and I believed in God I believed in miracles because I had I birthed three babies and uh, loved them dearly and and raised them the best I could and then I finally um, got busy and I just didn't go to church so much anymore and we didn't really we prayed occasionally bedtime prayers but didn't really talk about Jesus and didn't talk that much about God in our house and um, and then wasn't too long ago uh, well, it's been several years now. Um, I went to a Bible study uh, with my daughter and and my daughter-in-law, actually. And the Bible study was really powerful and important. And for the first time in my life, I truly understood God and that God truly loved me and that Jesus was there for me and that he forgave me. 
and I think that was one of the biggest blessings that ever could have happened in my life was was coming to the, there was something different about how I understood and for so many years of my life I hated myself and and thought I was worthless and that's when I finally started to realize that you know I really am a beloved child of God and it's been wonderful ever since and yeah. I go to Bible studies and and I um, speak of Christ often and pray with people and it's just it's been wonderful yeah and you mix in that with your love for the Great Smoky Mountains <laughs> yes that Valerie has and you guys you've probably seen her comment and um, especially on uh, Facebook and some other areas. And if you don't follow us on social media, we would encourage you to do that. But if your faith is important to you, um, comment down below and let us, let us know what um, your relationship uh, means with Christ. We would appreciate that. We look and if forward you wanna, to seeing it. And if you want to share anything about the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'd like to read those too. Or, or the 60s. <laughs> yes. Or s'mores. <laughs> right. Like or a big tea. who cooked a better hot dog. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be a pretty day. So peaceful out here. Okay, it's breakfast time here at camp. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going kind of light. Yeah, just brought some muffins. <laughs> so we cooked last night, yeah. It's going to go light today. And we wanted to tell you our thoughts about the campground. So mm -hmm. you want to go first? If I get this off, I yeah, I like it. I like that it's wooded and um, just really green and shady and pretty in here. There you go. We'll have one of these cinnamon ones. That's a blueberry one right there, and that's another cinnamon one. Ooh. <laughs> I think I'm going blueberry. And it was quiet last night. The uh, bathhouse was nice. You need a bathhouse. Clean. Uh huh. Clean and nice. Mm hmm. We slept good. Had a great visit with Valerie. Mm -hmm. So our hot dogs were yummy and our s'mores. Valerie and I were saying we both have been a long time since we'd had s'more. Yeah. So that was fun and brought back some memories and just catching up with her. Yeah, I really liked and enjoyed the campground. I guess one of the biggest reasons is the shade. Mm -hmm. I, I know on a hot summer day or days, you, yeah. can't, you can't beat some good shade. No. It is a smaller campground right here on 321. Mm -hmm. Again, I probably say this a lot. It gives you the feel of you're in the Smoky Mountains, which we are, mm -hmm. but just 20 minutes down the road in your downtown Gatlinburg. Right. And so you can get the best of both both worlds in a, in a good way, if you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, out in nature here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we did call to make a reservation. They kind of picked the spot here for us and told us where we would be staying. The internet was excellent, by yes. the way, here. The internet was good. Very good. Verizon, uh, two bars right here at the campsite. <laughs> yeah. And I will say this um, that I like about them. If you're just staying... One night. I mean, we realize that a lot of people stay more than one night mm -hmm. when they're camping. And when our kids were younger and we had a pop-up camper, you know, we always stayed a weekend or a week somewhere at a state park. Mm. But I, what I like about it is they allow you to do that. There's not a two-night limit or three-night limit. At but, least during this season, we don't know. We're here. What the summer's like, yeah. The very end of uh, April 1st of May time. Yes, but what I like about that is you can check in as early as 1 and you don't have to check out until 12 yeah. noon. So that gives, if you are just staying one night during the season, it gives you plenty of time to enjoy the campground. Yeah. So some things here for the kids to do. There is no creek, but you know right. what? <laughs> We're used yeah. to that, but it's still pretty here. No, we've stayed in some places where there's no creek, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. You don't always have to have a river or a creek. It just adds to it. We just lock it, yeah. Yeah. 
but we really enjoyed it. Um, I think most of the sites are fairly level. Like I said, there's pull-throughs and then there's a lot of back ends and there's several <laughs> cabins. So um, would you come back and stay here? Oh yeah, I would Definitely. come back and stay here. Yeah, absolutely. So it's our first time here and we really did enjoy it. We did. Smoky Bear. Smoky Bear. <laughs> yep. Well, thanks for joining us and um, on this another adventure. And if you haven't yet, we'd love for you to find us on social media. We're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, and sometimes, Mike, yes. right, we post things on social media. Well, a lot that, of times, more that don't make it on our YouTube channel. Yeah, smaller clips and videos, and of course, photos and stuff. That yeah, never I, make it on YouTube. And we've been talking about. We, you know, we really edit um, the videos, and even the fireside chats, we get we get windy sometimes, you know. <laughs> and we have to edit that down to keep the video somewhat from being so large. But we've talked about maybe not doing a ton of edits to like the fireside chats and just posting them like on Facebook and some other places just, where you can see the full length of it. Just the fireside chat by itself. Yeah. On social media. Yeah. I better get Big T so he can tell everybody bye. Oh yeah. <laughs> this blueberry muffin's good. Is it? Mm hmm Here's the boy. There he is. <laughs> Everybody's favorite. That's Smoky Mountain favorite pug right there, we think. <laughs> no, he is to us, for sure. Mm -hmm. To us, for sure. You want to tell everybody bye? See, folks, that's going to do it. It's from, like I smell muffin. <laughs> from the Smoky Bear Campground here in Gallenberg. Yes. Until next time, we're Fridays. Forever. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.